to my beautiful office and a small jump. Yes, welcome to this wing of my office again. This is a beautiful part of the beach. It is called Malibu Beach in Thailand. Not another new one to explore today, guys, because I'm lazy. I had a busy day yesterday where they installed some air conditionings in our house and they started to install our roof of the sala, which is my chill out section of the house with my hammock and the view of the beach. So a lot of constructions yesterday. So today again, my normal office in front of my house and tomorrow I promise you guys, I will visit a new location on Koh Phangan. I am talking too much again, guys. Happy Bitcoin halving day. The halving just took place a few hours ago while I was of course sleeping. It was, uh, I'm in Bangkok time, so I was not able to watch it. But guys, happy Bitcoin halving day. From now on, the miners will mine new blocks and will be incentivized with only 6.25 Bitcoins for every block mined, which still is a lot of Bitcoins. As always, there is a message in these very important blocks. Now the last block was mined by F2 pool, I think. And the message that was stamped into the last block before the halving was New York Times, 9 April 2020 with 2.3 trillion injection. Fed's plans far exceed the 2008 rescue, which means they now even injected more money than during the 2008 rescue, uh, which again expresses the importance of Bitcoin, the importance of a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized digital cash to set us free from this continuously money printing machine that tries to save the world by printing more and more and more and more money, which will uh, finally end in huge inflations. So this is why Bitcoin is there, guys, to save us from the next huge crisis and to provide, of, provide us now of a kind of a store of value that will slowly grow into a peer-to-peer -peer cash that we can use in day-to-day -day spendings. So again, happy halving day, guys. Enjoy this beautiful day. Some bad news, guys, because during these beautiful events that the Cointelegraph and Coinbase organized on YouTube, you know, they were streaming a lot of good speakers, uh, panel discussions and all that stuff. They were just forced to quit and YouTube disrupted their live streams and even now deleted uh, all the content because it was not in line with the YouTube's community guidelines, which is terrible. Again, crypto was just hit hard on the face by YouTube and they just said by doing this, fuck you guys with your fucking crypto content and now eh, deleted. This guys can always happen when we believe in decentralized systems. I sometimes even question myself, why am I still creating content and uploading it on YouTube. Yes, it's the way to monetize your content. Yes, it has the biggest reach out there at the moment. But if we never start to change as a community, if we never explore the decentralized options, you know, we will always face these problems that centralized organizations are in full control on the content we create. And guys, as I said in the video before, the creating of content you watch is maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes, but most content creators spend half a day to create this beautiful content. So it's very sad to see this content being deleted by the central organization. Maybe again, it was an algorithm failure of YouTube, but then again, YouTube, just update your algorithm and understand that Bitcoin is not here to destroy the world or destroy people, but to save people from this huge influenced centralized world yes all my videos are being backed up by library tv so you can always find my videos back there if youtube uh, decides to delete them um, and guys if you just join the bitcoin family telegram group there is always a way to uh, connect to me and there's always a way i can 
keep you up to date about a new channel, about a new whatever, you know, my YouTube will block small YouTubers like me as well. You never know, you never know. What about the price, guys? Yes, if, we will, if you want to talk about the price, it's a very difficult um, time to talk about price because nobody really knows what is happening. There are some bearish people that say, wow, Bitcoin could even drop to 6K now, um, which is another 2K lower than we are. Yes, that is of course possible in Bitcoin. Everything is possible. Um, but if you look at the traders that are a little bit more bullish, then I would, I would choose for the bullish uh, situations because I just compare this halving to the last halvings because the only thing you can do in trading is, um, you know, if you look at the chart, watch to the left and just analyze what happened in the past because you can never predict the market. You can only calculate your risks. And if you look to the left on the chart, you can see what happened before. And this you can, on this events, you can calculate what will happen, what could happen today or tomorrow. There are two scenarios that got my attention. One of the scenarios is if, if we are in Elliott wave counting triangle, so we can see the triangle on this chart. If we are in the Elliott wave, we should be seeing now the fifth wave and the fifth wave would be up. So the fifth wave would be up from here to around 11K. So that is a very bullish sign. And then after the 11K, we could break out to the downside, but at least we have this last fifth wave to 11K. Um, also another very bullish sign if, is that we saw seven green weekly candles in a row. Yes, I've talked about this a few times in my videos because every time after the seven slash eight weekly green candles, we see this doji like this indecisable doji, mostly the red one. And afterwards we can see this huge run up to the new all time high, probably in 2021. This is what I, how I see the market. Again, I always manage my portfolio in this way. That is always possible for me to add some Bitcoins if we see a dip and not stress because I lose all my value. No, I just add up Bitcoins to my Bitcoin stack, which makes it more beautiful even when Bitcoin then turns around and goes up again, because then you make even more profit. Yes, there is some more news. The boat that was on land yesterday is still there. As you can see, um, he, not, he could not fish now for two days because the water didn't come up high enough yesterday. So again, guys, nobody knows how, how, how high we will go. Nobody knows how low we will exactly go. It's almost impossible to predict the market. You know, even if you are uh, able to predict the market, then you still can make a mistake like the fisherman. The looks of the boat tell me he's an experienced fisherman with many years experience and still he made this calculation mistake where he didn't think we had, he would have low tide for two days and couldn't fish. Just compare it with your Bitcoins. If you make a mistake, you are stuck in the market. You just hold all your Bitcoins till you're able to sell them with profit again or just run the ride because that is what you, the only thing you can do. He cannot pump the sea beneath the boat to save the boat from the beach. You cannot influence the market from, uh, to pump up Bitcoin because you don't have the ability to inject this amount of money into the market. Like the fisherman doesn't have the ability to take all the sea onto the land. What a strange comparison did he, but yeah, I just like to compare these strange things I see during my walks. The rest guys, I don't have any news. I just wish you a beautiful Bitcoin halving day. Um, I hope you celebrate it with your Bitcoin friends. Yes, my shirt's already saying it. It's time for plan B. Plan B is unfolding. We just had a third successful halving, which is a huge event in Bitcoin because we now have a, tw a 10 year history of Bitcoin and it's still up and running. It never went down. The miners are still up and running. Yes, some miners will lose business and other miners will win business, but that's how, you know, economics work. Some you win and some you lose. I wish you guys an amazing day. I hope you make the best of it. Like live life to the fullest 24 seven, then life will be worth living. And I will see you guys tomorrow again. And I promise you guys, I will be 
filming tomorrow on a new beautiful location here in Copagan so you can have a beautiful view of a different beach or different other area in Copangan, Thailand. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it in your communities. And guys, see you tomorrow.